This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I'm going to narrate from Gaia.com. Electric Universe Theory, The Science, Models, and Controversy. Written by Paul Wagner, October 15th, 2021. Before Einstein created his unique theorems on relativity, deflating Newton's theories on gravity, Nikola Tesla posited the idea that electricity and energy were responsible for almost all cosmic phenomena. Tesla saw energy and electricity as an incompressible fluid of constant quantity that could neither be destroyed nor created. Quote, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla. What did Einstein conclude? Einstein suggested and eventually proved, to a degree, that gravity is a curvature within a measurable reality, which he termed as space-time. When you add time to the coordinates of length, width, and height, you get space-time. Consider space-time as a material fabric. When a mass or object is large enough, it can cause the fabric to warp. Consider what happens when you lift your knees when under a blanket. It warps the blanket. You can see that your knees, a mass, created a bend or cavity. This warp structure, the bend or cavity, is gravity. There's much more to it, but this gives us a foundation to help us understand the beauty and challenges behind the electric universe theory. The electric universe theory backstory, atoms, electrons, and plasma. Most of us wander around our lovely planet never fully understanding how atoms, electrons, matter, and energy function. It's not because we're not interested, it's because it's complicated and a bit intimidating. No wonder the processes that create and support life are nothing short of miracles. To better understand the electric universe theory, let's kick things off with a few definitions. Atoms. An atom is the basic unit of a chemical element. They're made up of tiny subatomic particles, including protons, neutrons, and electrons. Atoms are surrounded by one or more negative electrons. Electrons are a bit like non-committal partners. They can be easily separated from their host atoms. When electrons are emitted, all sorts of things can happen. For example, the aurora borealis, also called the northern lights, is born from these types of currents, forming multicolored sheets to burst across the sky. These bursts and sheets are forms of plasma filaments. Plasma. Plasma is the most common of the four fundamental states of matter. The other big players are solids, liquids, and gases. Plasma is formed when ionized gases become electrically conductive, meaning that electrical current, electricity, can flow through them. Fire and lightning are forms of plasma. It's in this way that stars and galaxies get their power. Currents flow into stars and power them like light bulbs. They can also induce the births of planets. You can see the remnants of these energy infusions in the forms of craters throughout our galaxy. Plasma filament. As charged particles move around and throughout plasma, rings of magnetic fields can form around the electric current. This is called a plasma filament. Interconnected and perfectly woven, these filaments stretch across billions and billions of light years, creating the silent equilibrium inherent in the physical universe. When current flows through plasma filaments, it generates colorful tendrils of light. This is where Nikola Tesla, from 1856 to 1943, comes in. He invented the plasma ball when experimenting with electric currents in vacuum tubes. As much, many refer to the center ball as a Tesla coil. Tesla believed that electricity powered the universe and could power our physical and eternal realities. Tesla on Einstein on July 11th, 1935, the New York Times quoted Tesla, quote, The relativity theory is much older than its present proponents. It was advanced over 200 years ago by my illustrious countryman Boscovich, the great philosopher, who, with notwithstanding other and multifold obligations, wrote a thousand volumes on a vast variety of subjects. Boscovich dealt with relativity, including the so-called time-space continuum. End quote. Tesla went on to say this about Einstein's theories. Quote, Magnificent mathematical garb which fascinates, dazzles, and makes people blind to the underlying errors. The theory is like a beggar clothed in purple whom ignorant people take for a king. Its exponents are brilliant men, but they are metaphysicists, not scientists. End quote. What is the electric universe theory? 
The Electric Universe Theory, or EU, generally states that electricity is the engine behind a long list of natural and astrophysical spectacles. It supports the idea that electricity powers the sun and stars and that cosmic occurrences are electrical in nature. The theory also suggests that the universe is a vast, electric organism, chock full of yet-to-be-discovered masses, holes, relationships, and phenomena. EU advocates believe that we are at the beginning of exploring the possibilities around the concept. Since the first pamphlet was distributed in 1983, there have been many papers, books, and theses published on the electric universe theory. While some of the tenets of the theory appear to be difficult to prove, the idea that there is electricity throughout the universe and within every animal, plant, and everywhere else we find plasma is undeniable. From subterranean electricity, known as telluric currents, to atmospheric electricity, for example meteors, from extraterrestrial, or cosmic electricity, to electrostatic phenomena, electric currents are visible and or audible. All of these things result from the interaction between electrical currents, filaments, atmospheres, and formations of matter. The EU has been proven, disproven, celebrated, and dismissed throughout the last 125 years, and since Tesla disappeared from planet Earth. Quote, We live in an electronic world. Our cities are visible from space at night, blazing with electric lights. The electricity courses invisibly in the darkness over great distances along thin power lines. We find electricity indispensable. Nature does the same since all matter is electrical. Astronomy is stuck in the gaslight era, unable to see that stars are simply electric lights strung along invisible cosmic power lines that are detectable by their magnetic fields and radio noise. End quote by Wallace Thornhill. Support for the Electric Universe Model While there are many variations to the Electric Universe Model, supporters of the theory tend to believe that the cosmology and phenomena found throughout the universe is driven by electricity rather than gravity. This idea has many fans and even more enemies. Emanuel Velikovsky influenced and empowered the EU movement with his ideas around how the universe rearranges itself via electrical interactions. The plasma universe is a concept and theorem established by Nobel laureate Hannes Alphen, known as the father of plasma physics and plasma cosmology. Alphen believed that the visible universe is almost 100% plasma and his theory is often considered a companion to EU theory. Alphen knew the interstellar and intergalactic network of planets, meteors, suns, moons, and stars are all plasma. The EU community, sometimes referring to themselves as the Thunderbolts Project, has a long list of social media channels and voices, including Wallace Thornhill and David Talbot, at the helm of the EU experience. While the truth around the Electric Universe theory might never be accepted or proven, it will never be eradicated. Even though there is a fair and considerable pushback against the tenets within the EU theory, it might need more time to mature. We also might consider that there might be limits to Einstein's research and applied technologies. I think it's important to consider that just because a theory is globally accepted or that current scientific procedures support them, it does not mean they are 100% correct. It might be that there are nuances in every theory that are yet to be proven for a variety of reasons. Putting it all together. At 14 billion years old, the universe is still unfolding and expanding. Assuming that today's theories are precise and comprehensive is a mistake. The full scope of the universe's elements and truths has yet to be revealed. At the very least, we must remain open to new, potentially remarkable possibilities. The biggest roadblock in the pursuit of life-enhancing technologies and disproving or proving the electric universe theories might be that today's scientists are more concerned with algorithms than experiments. It's important to keep in mind that equations do not create or prove realities. They propose and support imaginary ones. Also relevant, governments and iconic business people have always been nervous around innovation and they've stifled it for the darkest of reasons. J.P. Morgan put an end to Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower in fear that its resulting wireless energy technology would interfere with the growth and profits from the companies that Morgan financed, including General Electric. 
J. Edgar Hoover seized Tesla's work upon the death of the unsung hero, fearing it might inspire a revolution in the country's energy and economic infrastructures, putting power, profit, and influence in the hands of citizens instead of corporate entities. Hundreds of patents were classified by the U.S. government over the past 50 years, which can easily be attributed to the notion that governments do not want people to be empowered. They want people to be reliant. Regardless of its limitations and imperfections, Tesla's work and the suppositions surrounding the electric universe are compelling and can potentially lead to profound shifts in our thinking and forthcoming technological advances. Given these ideas, we might reframe Einstein's theories on special relativity by saying, quote, E equals MC squared is relatively true for now, end quote. And now people accept Einstein's version, which physically cannot work. So the electric universe followed up and it seems to make a lot of sense. There's your speed of light, depends on the medium, and of course we know that light slows down when it goes through air and water. And the reason is that those media have different electrical characteristics to the medium of space. And that means also that if the density of the medium of space changes, then the speed of light will vary. And this also means then that around stars and galaxies where the matter is more concentrated, the speed of light will vary in such a way as to give you this, what they call gravitational lensing. It's not gravitational at all, it's a, an effect of gravity upon the medium it's, that surrounds it, just like an atmosphere. So it can bend light like an atmosphere. It's got nothing to do with warp space or any of that nonsense. For more information, please visit Gaia.com.